Life is a jungle. You need savage business and finance to lead you out of the jungle today. I want to say thank you to the people who have bought training, and I want to say thank you to the people who are about to buy training. Today, we're going to talk about why starting a small business is better than investing. I have a multitude of videos talking about the lie of investing on many of my channels. And here's the thing, and let's go ahead and talk about a fundamental truth that is never brought up in all of these crypto videos, stock market videos, and real estate videos. Number one, years ago, I did a video talking about average income, and that's very, very important. And 85% of the country makes less than $40,000 per year. Minus taxes, that's about 20, 2,500. Some people on the other side, the states without state taxes, they're gonna get close to $3,000 per month. The average rent across America is 1,200 to 1,500. The average mortgage is 1,200 to $2,000. So if you are a person who's making under $40,000 a year, you do not have the financial wherewithal to get rich ever through investing. I've had many people challenge me and it was like, you can get rich through investing if you start early. Let me tell you what I did when I got my first credit cards. I was 20 years old. I got a Citibank Visa and I got a First Union Visa. Literally three months after I got these credit cards, they were maxed out. I got a $1,500 limit from Citibank and a $1,500 limit from First Union. The average person, even with the internet and Google, the average person doesn't have a firm understanding of personal finance and investing. They don't. So by the time this person has an understanding they're in their 30s. There are very few people. Now there's a bunch of young YouTubers who are putting out investment advice who are actually investing and who will be even richer in the future. But these YouTubers have something that you don't. They have a high YouTube income. If you're in the personal finance space, you can make anywhere from 100 to $2 million per year doing YouTube. So if you are a YouTuber in the personal finance space and dealing with stocks, dealing with crypto or in business, your YouTube revenue can be quite significant. I have seen a number of people who started a YouTube channel in two years into the future, they quit their job because they were making so much money from YouTube. So Graham Stephan, me Kevin, financial education, Jeremy uh, Jink, or Andrew Jink, once again. So I would say do not listen to any of them. Don't listen to Graham, don't listen to me, Kevin. Instead, do exactly what they're doing. Graham Stephan has started a YouTube business. Me, Kevin has started a YouTube business. Because here's the thing, if you're in the income danger zone, number one, $50,000 a year or less, you do not make enough money to invest to become rich ever, ever. And let's talk about that. I've been an entrepreneur for 24 years and I've been able to enjoy the fruits of my labor. If you were investing, you still would not be at a point where you could take money out of your investments. I want you to really think about that. So this is the number one reason that starting a small business is much better than investing. The utility of the money. When you're putting money in investments, you're putting money in, you're putting money in, you're putting money in, you do not get to use that money until some magical, majestical moment in the future. You, you don't get to use that money. Whereas literally start a small business within the first two to three years, you have access to that money. And it is very, very, and here's something else too. And this is something that a lot of people don't talk about. 
I know people who started a small business, weren't making much money in the beginning. In a year 11, year 12, they sold their business for millions of dollars. So you are creating an investment because you're creating an asset that pays you cash money every month. And at some point in the future, you can sell it for multiples. You can't do that with investments. And once again, I have crunched the numbers. If you go to the investment calculator and put in $200 per month times a 10% yield and put in 30 years, it's not even a million dollars. And let's go ahead and talk about that. Let's go ahead and say all of this was true. Let's say you can invest and you get a million dollars in 20 or 30 years. What do we know is gonna happen in 20 or 30 years? 30 years from today, a million dollars will not have the buying power that a million dollars has today due to inflation. And here's the, the map and the stats. I've, I've studied this and I've researched this. Only less than 10% of the people who have a brokerage account ever get to a seven figure, only get to a seven figure net worth through their brokerage account. Less than 10% of the people who have a brokerage account, which means that 91% of the people who are diligently investing never reach millionaire status. So once again, let's go back to the utility, the utility. In 2020, that was the year I made the most money I ever made in my life. And I was able to buy a BMW and a Porsche literally in the same month, spent $200,000. And because I had a business, the next month, I had another $200,000. See, let me go ahead and explain it to you, why you wanna start a business, and more importantly, why you can start a business. Let's take the time machine back to who I used to be. Let's go back to I was a regular person working not one, not two, but three jobs. I had bad money management habits and I was in a situation where I just wasn't doing the things that I needed to do in life to become successful. Simply put, I was the average person. And during that time span, I had some misfortune happen to me. I got divorced, I ended up being homeless, I ended up living in a boarding house. And in that horror, in that tragic moment, is where I learned how to get rich. Many of you think getting rich is about money. It's a mindset. ESPN 30 for 30 broke. There are guys who made a hundred million dollars and were broke in retirement. So let's go ahead and really, really think about that. So if you can make a hundred million dollars and end up broke, that should tell you that it's not about how much money, because this is the, if only I made more money, if only I made more money. Let me go ahead and give you a fact. If you're messing up, $30,000, you're gonna mess up $300,000. It starts with money management. Money management is the cornerstone, it is the foundational aspect of getting rich and getting wealthy. This is what happened to me. I ended up homeless and I figured out a way to get out of that homeless situation and I got the job, my first job at Runacrate, which paid me the most money I had ever made in my life, and I figured some stuff out. I left Runacrate, went to another job, left that job, and went to my third job, where I was selling commercial office furniture. And I started a side business when I had that job. I had a six-figure job that I kept when I started my business and that business made $250,000 in about eight months. And because I had a job, and this, this is why I, I'm telling you the training works. Because I had, now once again, to be full disclosure, yes, I was working more than, I, I went from working 50 hours a week 
to working 60, sometimes 70 hours a week. So the amount of time I spent working went up. But when you compare and contrast to, to what would your life be like if you had $250,000 in the bank and you have a paid off car and you had no debt, what would your life be like? Pretty sweet. So this is the foundation that the training is predicated on. I had my job and I had my business. And because my job was able to pay my rent, buy food, put gas in my car, all of the money from the business stayed within the business. And this is how I got rich. Once again, rich is $250,000 or more. Wealthy is a net worth of 5 million or more. Now, why, and I'm going to explain this because everyone doesn't watch all the videos. Why do I say net worth of 5 million? In the beginning of 2022, there were many, many people who were millionaires because of the value of their house and because of the stock market. What happened in 2022? Stock market collapsed, housing prices went down. These people instantly were no longer millionaires. So in my opinion, if you have a net worth of a million dollars, you are rich. You're not wealthy. Five million, you're wealthy because typically there's only 1.5 million households in America with a net worth of five million or more, which is 0.5% of the population. And I guarantee you there is a business component to these people in that five million dollar net worth or higher and this is one of the things i'm going to teach you you can join the club you can if you're willing to do the work if you can let go of this fantasy of quitting your job because i hate my boss i hate my job i gotta get me out of here please grow up keep your job start a business and get rich and then this will give you the capital to get wealthy once again, once you're, because the way the training is designed is we're going to first, we gotta handle the personal finance stuff because here's the thing, and I've seen this with a close friend of mine who had a really successful business, but his spending habits were atrocious. That business collapsed, not because it was a bad business, because he couldn't get his spending in check. Dude was married, he had a mistress, he bought his wife a Mercedes. He bought his mistress a Mercedes. You know, his business was making like 40,000 a month, but he was spending 50,000 a month. And literally it just all caved in on him. So one of the first things we're gonna teach you is money management. And this is something you're gonna do when you have a job because the training is set up to ensure that you will be successful because I'm going to teach you the truth. Number one, you're not going to find this high income skill and literally, well, maybe if you get in sales, if you get in sales and you can literally go from nothing to 20, 30, $40,000 a month, if you get into the right sales job with the right commission structure, and I'm going to tell you something, because I saw some training here on YouTube talking about being a salesperson for these companies. Those jobs, it's very hard to get a job that has the income potential of a million dollars in sales. First of all, they're going to interview you three to five times. They're gonna check your references and they're gonna check your book of business. These are not easy to get jobs and you're gonna to have to have the skill sets and the verifiable proof of your sales history to get those type of jobs. So I know this for a fact since I used to be a salesperson and I know that essentially when I got the sales job, I just literally walked in because I had leads, I had a reputation. You're just not getting these jobs. But ideally, if you were to start something and get to twenty, thirty thousand dollars per month within a year from scratch, sales or starting a business. Now, what we're going to do this year is we're going to have a lot of conversations talking about this because one of the things I've literally had someone in the comments section on the other channel talking about investing and talking about my math is off. How many of you think that you would be able to consistently 
and diligently invest for 30 years. Because here's the thing, and I've run the numbers. Typically, to make a lot of money through investing when you're starting off with a moderate amount of money or a small amount of money, you need a long investment runway. So typically, the longer the runway, the more interest, that's your money making money. And typically, you need 20 to 30 years runway. Now, if you were an extremely high income earner, say you made 500,000 and you were able to put $150,000 a year in investments, from a principal standpoint and with your interest, the money that your money made, you'd be a millionaire in seven to eight years. Let's see. Now, yeah, six, about six, if you were investing $150,000 per year. Now, if you go to the investment calculator and you look at that, you would see that the primary source of your wealth was contributions and the interest, this is your money, making money, compound interest, would be quite small because you got to that sum because you were putting in a large amount of capital into your investment. And that's what got you there. But if you're investing two, 300 bucks a month, it's literally gonna take you decades to potentially get wealthy. Because I'm gonna say what's gonna happen is you're gonna get rich. And what is the difference between wealth and being rich? Being rich, you're working for your money. Now I have a, and this is where the training gets really, really beautiful because you will be building your business. Once again, it's an asset and you would be investing. So you'd be building your business and you would be investing. Let's say you wanted to invest. Uh, let's go fast forward. You found this channel, you took the training. It's five years in the future. You've got a business that does, let's say $500,000 per year. And that's your gross revenue, that's your gross profit, 500,000. So after taxes, that's gonna put you at about 350. So every year, five years, every year you go to the Midwest, you go to Kansas, Michigan, Idaho, and you buy a house outright and you stick a renter in there. And you do this for the next 10 years. So you've got a net worth of $1.5 million over there on your investments, and your investments have uninterrupted, in unimpeded cash flow. So let's say your 150, your $1.5 million real estate portfolio makes 10,000 a month. 10,000 a month, that's 120,000 a year. And with the depreciation and stuff you can get real estate, you will virtually pay no taxes on that 120. And then over here, you got your business. Imagine what your life will look like. Imagine what you can do. Imagine waking up and saying, you know what? I'm not going to work today. And because you have built a business, you have set it up the way that we're gonna teach you, you don't have to go to work. We're gonna teach you to automate your business. Now, this is something that takes time to do. This is not something you're gonna do in a few weeks or a few months. It's gonna take you a few years because a key part of this is you're gonna to have to have the right people in place to automate your business. Or let's say you didn't wanna do real estate and let's say you're in love with the stock market and you put $150,000 a year into the stock market and you do that for 10 years, 1.5 million. But see, this is where the duality of having the business and investing at the same time, or as they say on law and order concurrently. See, you have this cash flowing business which will magnify your wealth. Over here, you have wealth that comes in assets, stock, real estate. I'm not 100% sold on crypto. I believe all crypto is gonna to go to zero at some point. And you have your stable assets over here that are generating cash flow. Then you have your active business. And let's just say, you know, 10 years in the future, you found this channel when you were 20 something and 10 years in the future, you're you're, 30, you're 39 years old and you have a business that's making 500,000 
and you have a real estate portfolio that's making you 120. So 120 plus your 350, that's 470. What kind of lifestyle could you have making $470,000 a year? Which is going to be about 40, close to 40, close to $40,000 a month of spendable cash. What kind of lifestyle are you gonna have? What kind of what what kind of things would you be able to do? I want I want you to just think about it. let your imagination run wild. Let your imagination run wild because this is the training that we're gonna give you. But let me explain to you what I'm getting ready to do. Next 10 years are about me automating my business and setting it up. This is why I revamped the YouTube channels, I revamped everything because I need to set this up where I can automate this and when 10 years in the future, I will be 65. In 10 years, I want the option, do I wanna to go to work today? Nah, I don't wanna to go to work today. And I kinda of, sorta of have that option. I can do that for months and I'll be fine. By the time I'm 65, really by the time I'm 60, I, I can be able to do that for years and the money's just gonna keep coming in, it's gonna keep coming in, it's gonna keep coming in. And this is the stuff that we're going to teach you in the training for the people who are willing to do the work, for the people who can follow instruction, and for the people who can be committed to the process. So once again, this is why a small business is much better than investing. And if you do not feel that you have what it takes to start a small business, you're absolutely correct because mindset plays a big role. So if you don't think that you can do it, you probably can't. But if you think you can do it, you probably can. So we have some training below. Sign up for the training and what's in the training? We have the hot shot business training. This is the business training. This will be the training to teach you how to start a business how to scale a business and how to hire a business. That's one training. Then we have another training, the digital nomad training, teaching you how to do what I do, YouTube, blogging, podcast, and so on and so forth. And then we have the third package, the combination of the two, if you want everything. So those links are below, sign up, and what are you gonna get? You're gonna get a live training once a week, and you're gonna get assistance and help in the community group. So once again, sign up for the training, go ahead and begin to get on that journey. Three years to getting rich, 10 years to getting wealthy. If you think you can do it, you can do it. If you think you can't do it, you can't do it. It's just that simple. So go below, sign up for the training today and begin your journey to getting rich and then get on your path to becoming wealthy.